Skip, how would you grade Deshaun's performance last night? If I grade Deshaun in, in just a pure vacuum, the way I would grade any quarterback, regardless of the circumstances, I would have given him a C- minus for last night because 15 to 24 for 125, he threw two balls that could have been pick six. Mm -hmm. Those are like now Andy Dalton kind of numbers, and I wouldn't have given him much of a grade above C-. minus. But now you throw the context in. This is his 22nd birthday. He's only 22 years of age. That was his first ever NFL start, obviously on the road against Cincinnati that was favored by five. He had no tight ends who dressed. He had only three wideouts who dressed. And one of those wideouts that you just brought up, DeAndre Hopkins, mm -hmm. said just before the season started that he was on Team Savage. He wanted Tom Savage to be the starter for the Houston Texans. And obviously, that offensive line in the opener in Houston gave up 10 sacks. He had 10 sacks? And Dwayne Brown, the left tackle, who's very good, as we know, is still holding out. So because the Texans got wiped out and the Bengals got wiped out at home by the Ravens, there's a lot on the line last night to get thrown into that fire at age 22. So given all that, I give Deshaun an A minus. And dare I say, his performance was Tebow-esque because he had sort of Tim Tebow kind of numbers. But when the game and the money on the line, what happened? who made the play of the game, and it came only two plays after one of the worst plays that Deshaun made. He let Geno Atkins, if we could see that, just blast him he right did. in he the face. Cool. He did. He just held the ball too long, and he held the ball too long, and he got rocked right in the face by Geno Atkins. Here we go. Boom. Ooh, you, you won't see a quarterback take a shot in the mouth much worse than that shot. And he jumped right back up from that. Ooh, ooh, that was wicked. Jumped right up from that, completed a little six-yard pass, and then two plays later, what did he do? Take off. He escaped for the only touchdown of the game, a 49-yard broken field run, and it was a thing of beauty. Mm -hmm. And he broke the record set by Tim Tebow for longest touchdown run in a debut by a quarterback, which was Tim Tebow back in 2010. Remember his first game at Oakland in the rain, and he escaped for 40 yards. So that's why I say Tebow-esque, because he didn't do all that much more than that. But here we go again. You want to talk about big game, big stage, mm -hmm. intangibles? You want to talk about guts, toughness, resilience, leadership intangibles, whatever all those things are? Again, I'm not saying he has Michael Jordan ability, which is coach, remember the illusion yeah, that see. Dabble made, mm -hmm. but he does have Michael Jordan-esque intangibles. And that's why they made a great move, the best move of the draft to go from 25 up to 12 to take him. And that's why Bill O'Brien made the worst move of the preseason. He didn't just hand him the keys and say, it's yours. Right. Let's go. Take us for a ride. And I told you, if that had happened, he could be this year's Dak. He could do what Dak did last year because Dak could, they couldn't help but give the keys to Dak when Romo got hurt. So I, I didn't love what he did last night except for the outcome and that one play because he made the play of the game. And who got the W? The five-point underdog. Skip, if you remember in that championship game last year, Reuben Foster hit him like that on a scramble, very similar. Yeah. And he was undeterred. He came back, ran the same way, threw the ball exceptional. Now, yeah. I, I got to say, you, you can't take two. No, 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 no. If you no, keep no. doing that, it's you're Tom not going to last very Tom long. Savage will be back, be in, back there. in there. Yeah. <laughs> Skip, I'm going to give him a B. And I'm going to give him a B for one reason. Well, for several reasons. They won the ball game. This was his first start, and it was on a short week. So he had two fewer days to yep. prepare for the game. And given what they had gone through the previous week, giving up 10 sacks, you're replacing Tom Savage, who, as you mentioned, DeAndre Hopkins says, hey, I'm riding with Savage. Mm -hmm. I, mean, he, I love yeah. him. Yeah. I'm also giving him, Skip, on that last drive, he made some throws. He did. To DeAndre, DeAndre Hopkins. Hopkins. That was the only wow. guy. He, he, made, he, made, he made one throw to the running back, but for the most part, that drive was he and DeAndre Hopkins, yep. and either it was a completion or it was a pass interference. And so you got to give the young man some credit.